Hello Wilson Wildcats, this is Miss Alma and today's my turn to read. I get to read to you guys. Today is World Autism Day. So today in honor of World Autism Day, we're supposed to wear our blue to show our support. So make sure you guys wear your blue and I want to see the, the class dojo pictures of all of you guys wearing blue. Okay, so in honor of World Autism Day, I'm going to read to you a book called Dog Blue and it's written by Polly Dunbar. So let's check it out. All right, Dog Blue by Polly Dunbar. All right. So, Bertie loved blue. He had a blue sweater, a blue dog collar, blue shoes. But no blue dog. What Bertie wanted more than anything in the whole wide world was a dog, a blue dog. So Bertie pretended he had a blue dog. He patted his pretend dog. He fed his pretend blue dog. He took his pretend blue dog for a walk. He threw a stick for his pretend blue dog. Uh, but pretend dogs don't fetch sticks. So Bertie fetched the stick himself. Bertie pretended he was a dog, a blue dog. He scratched like a blue dog. He sniffed like a blue dog. He chased his tail like a blue dog. And Bertie yapped like a blue dog. Yap! Yap! <gasps> a real dog yapped back. A tiny dog. Yap! All alone and looking for an owner. A black and white dog. A beautiful spotted dog. A perfect dog. Birdie's dog. But hang on. Wait a minute. Birdie's dog isn't blue at all. Yep. Birdie thought and thought. If this black and white, beautiful, spotted, perfect dog is not a blue dog, then he should give the dog something blue. A name! Bertie called his dog Blue. What a perfect pair! Bertie took Blue for a walk. Blue took Bertie for a walk. Bertie fed Blue. Blue sniffed to Bertie. Bertie patted Blue. Blue wagged his tail. Then Blue showed Bertie how tail chasing is done when you're a real dog and you really have a tail. So Bertie doesn't need to pretend anymore. Blue really loves Bertie. Bertie really loves Blue. Especially when... It's Bertie's turn to fetch! And that's the end. How cute. Well, I hope you guys liked the book. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, I want to see those blue shirts and blue attire on our in our class dojo. And I also want to let you guys know that I really, really, really miss you. I miss all of you guys from pre-K waving your hellos at me at the in the hallway all the way to my sixth graders. Oh, 
my sixth graders coming in for a uh, during their lunch recess. I really miss you guys. So I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.